Now to a heartbreaking case in Reseda. We're now hearing from relatives of the woman who's accused of murdering her three young children. And new court papers are also shedding light on the investigation. KCAL 9's Nicole Comstock has more. Joanna, Terry, and Sierra. Photos of the three little ones, siblings three years old and younger, have been set out at a memorial in front of the Reseda apartment building where their mother is accused of taking their lives. Respect the families, both families, because we are both suffering. This is a great loss for all of us. Anna Carrillo is the sister of the suspect, Liliana Carrillo. Her family came to the building tonight with flowers in tears to pay respects to the children and to set the record straight about the turmoil in this family that tore them apart. Eric Linton and his family had their concerns for the safety of his children and for her. My sister was having concerns for the safety of her children in his care too. Court records confirm both parents recently fought for custody of the children. On March 1st in Tulare County, their father, Eric Denton, petitioned for custody, which he appeared to have been granted, and for a mental health evaluation for their mother, who he claimed was having psychotic episodes, paranoia, and hallucinations. Less than two weeks later, on March 12th, in L.A. County Superior Court, their mother, Liliana Correa, requested a temporary restraining order against their father. Soon after, a judge ruled the couple would continue joining custody. The system failed them both. We were asking for help and there was no follow up. And litigation is not that solution. Family courts don't help you. Family law attorney Kelly Chang Rickert says a more helpful solution for a family possibly going through a mental health crisis would have been sitting down with a psychologist and a mediator. And the court petitions filed in different counties complicated the trail of paperwork. We do know that they're three, two, and six months, so she was suffering postpartum <laughs> depression, most likely. The Carrillo family says they're doing their best to help with the investigation, and they're asking the public not to speculate. Reporting in Reseda, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.